Good morning everyone. I am an intern from in Indian server machine learning batch 9. My name is Jayshree Kolluru. I would like to introduce my team members Chendu Priya Malli, Pradeep Komara, Omsi Krishna Kottuluru. Our project name is image caption generator. What is image caption generator? In the name itself we can know that generating and caption for an image. The main objective of our project is to learn the concepts of CNN and LSTM model and build a working model of image caption generator by implementing CNN convolution neural networks along with LSTM long short term memory. The dataset that we used in our project is Flickr 8K dataset and traffic science dataset from open images. CNN CNN basically used for image classification and identify, identifying an image whether it is an bird superman or etc this is an architecture cnn is used here it scans the images from left to right and top to bottom and pull the import pull out the important features from the image and combines the features to classify images it handles the images that have been translated, scaled and changed perspective. These features are generated by using a predefined model called Inception V3 and these features are given input to LSTM model. LSTM which is an important concept from recurrent neural networks that is RNN which is well suited for sequence prediction problem. Based on the previous text we can predict what is the next word will be. LSTM can carry out the relevant information throughout the processing of inputs and with a forget, forget, forget gate, it discards non-relevant information. That means it removes unwanted information. In this picture, we saw here deers, starting deers. What is the action performed by deers? Standing. And that are the futures that are generated. This is the visualization of RNN model. This is hidden layer, input layer, output layer. Finally, caption is generated. Dataset is given input to the CNN model, extracting the future using Inception V3 model, giving that futures as an input to LSTM model, finally generating the caption. Let's go into the code without late. At first, we need to import all necessary packages, getting and then get the data to be load by loading the document. A load document is used for loading and reading the contents inside the file into a string. And then after loading the data, we need to load the description. This function create description direction dictionary that maps images with a list of five captions for each images uh, that have five captions after loading the description we need to clean the description that means cleaning is nothing but it takes all the descriptions and perform data cleaning this is an important step when we work with textual data we will be removing punctuations, converting all text to lower cases and removing words that contain numbers. For example, let's take a sentence, a man riding on a three-wheeled chair. After uh, cleaning the description, we get the sentence like man riding on three-wheeled chair. After that, we are saving the description list and then vocabulary it separates all images i mean it separates all the unique words and creates vocabulary from all the description after creating the vocabulary we need to save the descriptions into the description.txt file next loading the data set loading the data set mainly contains three important steps like loading the photo load clean description load futures here we are loading the data of train, training images data. 
that means train data set contains 6005 images and then extracting the futures tokenizing the vocabulary that means computer doesn't understand the english words so we will have to represent them with numbers so we will map each word of the vocabulary with unique index Keras library provides us with tokenizer function that creates tokens from a vocabulary. Yes. Original vocabulary size is 8774. After that, once again, we are saving the description. Next, data generator. This is pre-process that we are using Inception V3 model. We have used a data generator also that uh, makes the, our task into supervised learning task. We have to provide input and output to the model for training. Here we are encoding the image and training the model start time and and then we extract futures and that futures is given as input to LSTM model here uh, we are taking the words that occurred uh, at least 10 times and matching with the pre-processed words. Pre-processed words are about 7589 and the words that occurred more than 10 times in our data set is 1652. Here we are converting a descript we are cleaning we are converting a dictionary of cleaned descriptions to a list of descriptions. Here we set the maximum length is 34 it is very important to set maximum length. For, we calculate maximum length of description, which is an important for deciding structure parameters. Here the maximum length is about 34. Data generator. To make, we make here supervised learning. Uh, we make our model supervised learning. That means our model contains one input and then it generates an output. Loading the word vectors, embedding the data and creating an embedding matrix shape. Training the model. Train image by generating input and output sequences in batch and fitting them to the model here i had run this uh, code twice because uh, running uh, the model uh, many times will get a decrease in loss see here once it is about three and after again i run it came about to two and again i run it's just about two itself And then loading the weights, saving the weights, opening the data set and using greedy search, selecting a random image. And finally, we got the output as speed ahead caption. We generated this project. I mean, we done this project only for traffic data set. So it takes the image and generates the caption speed ahead. Here we can see speed symbol. So the output caption is speed ahead. Thank you.